was born and raised in Bloomington, Indiana, and was very fortunate to uh, also attend the Jacobs School of Music uh, as an undergrad. I did uh, an undergraduate, actually two undergraduate degrees, one in violin performance and the other in uh, jazz violin, and I also earned an artist diploma. Oh, well, I was, I was very fortunate to, uh, well, to work with a number of, of uh, legendary IU folk. Um, uh, Joseph Gingold was uh, my classical violin teacher from when I was 12 until he passed away, so it was about 16 when that, when that happened. Uh, so those were uh, four, four or five amazing years uh, just working with a legend, um, both as a person and as a, a violinist, of course, and as a teacher, just an incredible human being. Uh, I also had the good fortune of working with David Baker uh, from when I was around eight years old <laughs> until, uh, well, he's still my teacher, actually. Uh, whenever I'm in, in town, I just saw him yesterday, actually, whenever I'm in town and, and have a chance to, uh, to talk with him and, and get his feedback about whatever it is I'm doing, uh, I always seek that opportunity. So I was getting you know, the traditional Western European um, uh, education music through Suzuki and, and the, that repertoire. Uh, and then uh, Baroque violin lessons and, uh, and jazz violin lessons as well. So it was, a, it was pretty great. I had a, an amazing time and it was, I think it was that diversity and uh, seeing the differences but also the common thread that wove through all these different styles of music that just was an inspiration. I knew when I left Bloomington that uh, I wanted to be in an environment where I was just continually inspired and I certainly had had that when I was here. Um, given Bloomington is just such an amazing, amazing town to grow up in and, and certainly to, or to study. Uh, but I, I wanted a change of environment and um, New York really seemed the place uh, for me to go. So I moved there in 2004, um, just, you know, open to any and all opportunities that really uh, felt right, you know, the, where the music that was going to be playing, that was going to be played was um, something that really connected to me and to what I was able to offer. So where I've ended up now is, is making a living in New York. Um, I'm primarily doing jazz music at this point. Uh, I still do a little classical here and there, but where I really feel my, the most myself is in the jazz arena. Um, but I'm certainly utilizing a lot of those classical skills that, uh, that I was taught by, by Joseph and, and me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm leading uh, three groups, the Sarah Caswell Quartet, the Caswell Sisters Quintet, and the Sarah Caswell uh, and Joe Brent uh, duo. And then I am sideman in several other people's groups. So I've been, uh, I was working quite a lot with Esperanza Spalding with Chamber Music Society. Uh, I've been doing some work currently with um, uh, David Krakauer and his new project, The Big Picture. Uh, doing a lot of work with um, Nadia Nordhaus, Alan Ferber, um, some folks who are really kind of coming up in, uh, in the jazz arena, really getting a lot of attention for what they're doing, really pushing the boundaries. So really having a lot of different hats that I'm wearing in that regard as a performer is, is fantastic. I love that, that element of, of what I do. But I also love teaching. Um, that's, uh, th that concept, um, that notion of giving back um, is certainly very important to what I, I love in music. And certainly when you have inspirations like uh, Joseph Gingold and David Baker kind of as your, as your mentors, there's, you know, there's just that need and that desire and the love of, of sharing what you know with uh, aspiring musicians. So I'm teaching uh, at Manhattan School of Music um, and I also have a private studio. So that's very much a part of what I do as well.